Welcome to another one of my trip reports. Today I will be flying with Jetstar Airways in their economy class product to Brisbane. Today's trip report started at Sydney Airport's Terminal 2. Terminal 2 is the main domestic terminal at Sydney, serving Jetstar, Virgin Australia, Rex, Flypapakin and Link Airways. <laughs> Today I arrived three and a half hours ahead of my flight's departure, which meant at the time I had to wait 30 minutes before I was allowed to check in. Check-in for Jetstar opens three hours before departure, so don't arrive too early like I did. After clearing security, I made my way to the gate to see if my aircraft was waiting for me, which it wasn't. In fact, let's look at today's aircraft. Today's aircraft is an Airbus A320 delivered to Jetstar Airways in March 2012, making the aircraft nearly 10 years old at the time of the recording. I recently flew on this aircraft from Ballina to Sydney. Two point five hours after arriving at the airport, my ride to Brisbane had finally arrived. Not long after, boarding had commenced, but before I could board, I was asked by the staff to do a bag weight test. 6.8 kilograms of luggage. Ha! Ah, couldn't get any closer than that. Today we boarded using gate 57 on the western side of the terminal. To get to gate 57, turn right after clearing security. Here is today's seat, 5A. Disclaimer. My opinion is my own and doesn't reflect Jetstar as a whole. As I made my way to my seat, a flight attendant had noticed that I was filming and proceeded to watch me throughout the flight. Just before pushback, she instructed me that I was prohibited to film on the aircraft. Having previously done my research, however, I made my claim to the flight attendant that there is no such Australian law that prohibits oneself to film in a public place without permission, unless the area is under copyright protection. She soon pulled the manager of the flight aside to discuss what they were to do about me. I was told that I couldn't film anything other than outside or my food. So unfortunately, there is no bathroom footage on today's flight. She also stated that it was a safety risk that I was placing my GoPro attachment to the window. The cabin manager and I agreed that I was allowed to film by hand, which I regret doing as it was extremely painful. Also, this flight attendant was very rude to me, essentially slamming my food down on the tray table besides me. I was very shocked at the treatment. Frankly, I don't care what sort of situation she was in, whether she had a bad day or not, but when you are in a customer service role, the paying customer deserves some level of respect. Please keep in mind when I fly, I am a very polite person, and frankly, I enjoy making conversations with the flight attendants, so none of this behavior was warranted. Anyway, we pushed back on time, and the engines fired up for my one hour flight to Brisbane. Now sit back and enjoy this unedited takeoff footage.
runway 16 left, departing south and then swiftly turning left. We made our way over Botany Bay before turning left again, tracking northwards up towards Brisbane. Soon after cleaning my tray table, I was asked if I would like to purchase anything off the menu. I bought my go-to meal on morning flights, a hot chocolate and double chocolate muffin. Soon after, I looked out my window and noticed that we were passing over the city of Newcastle. Not long after, we had commenced our descent into Brisbane. We flew over the Gold Coast, North Stradbroke Island and Morton Island before turning left and commencing an approach onto runway 19 left at Brisbane Airport. Now sit back and enjoy the unedited footage of the landing onto runway 19 left at Brisbane. So how did Jetstar do on this particular flight today? In a word, shocking. The crew, mainly this one flight attendant, was rude and unprofessional. The food was great, the hot chocolate was very hot. The flight and the views were awesome as always. However, the cleanliness was appalling. They didn't clean anything, not even the tray table. And considering we are currently in a pandemic, cleanliness is very necessary. Jetstar gets a 2 out of 5 for this flight. I hope they can improve. Well, you'll know in the next trip report if they do. Look out for it. I'll be flying back home to Sydney on an Airbus A321. Please like, rate, comment and subscribe if you enjoy my videos. I hope to see you again soon. See you later!